Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will continue our lessons in images. Uh, today, very important lesson. Uh, maybe many of you um, uh, is searching for this lesson, which is image training and prediction. We will use the Dogcat Panda from Kaggle. This is the link. I will keep it uh, and leave it in the video description for you to download. After you download, you will have animals and under animals you have cats, dogs and pandas. 3000 images. Uh, this is almost 197 uh, megabyte. So we have 3000 images that we need to train and predict uh, some other uh, images. So uh, the example gonna be uh, straightforward. Uh, this is from the old uh, one. So what I gonna do is I gonna first do import images. And for this one, I gonna use uh, the animals. You can uh, pick up the animals by going into the animal folder that has cat, dog, panda. So you go to the parent of the cat, dog, pandas uh, folders, which is this animal. Okay. So we have this animal. Uh, we do select. Okay. And from the select, you will have the 3000 images. So we have three categories, the uh, cat, dog, panda cat dog panda to browse these images before we um, we do the uh, training and all these uh, things let's go into that one so we have cat dog animals under animals you have again animals under animals again you will have these three folders okay so these are the cats okay and dogs okay and any uh, pandas 3000 images uh, and um, if you go into the parent you will have the animals which has the three uh, folders and you will have images also and the images we will have the prediction so we have these three images to predict these the three images to predict we will keep it in uh, images folder so let's uh, do this example so what we have done is we loaded these images the 3000 images to view these images you just go into image view viewer and from image viewer you will see all these images okay that the uh, cats dogs and uh, pandas this is the first thing second thing uh, we used to uh, do all, uh, always when using images is uh, embedding or images embedding images embedding in the images embedding it will read all these uh, data the 3000 images and it will use the squeeze net uh, local on the local local uh, uh, pc or local um, laptop and it will convert all these images into numbers so we can deal with these numbers it will create around 1000 <coughs> features each feature has these numbers per each uh, images so let's um, let's just wait for for a second till it finish all the embedding this is the most critical part in using or dealing with images okay so it's now finished okay so we can uh, view if you want the data table just to see what what will happen after uh, Im uh, image embedding it will create as you can see now these 999 uh, features okay so it converted the images um, into numbers of course you can use different embedders like uh, inception 3 v3 vgg 16 vgg 19 uh, and others uh, but i use the local one uh, to accelerate this uh, process so now we have numbers if we have numbers this means that we can use the traditional way of uh, doing training and prediction so i'm gonna connect this to uh, logistic logistic regression okay and I also let's uh, let's just uh, let's use another one also okay it will take some time to do the logistic regression okay so I will keep it uh, till it's finished so this is the uh, logistic regression I will connect the logistic regression to test and score okay test and score okay and uh, in the test and score also I will connect to uh, test and score this is the learner and this is the data okay so it will take some time now okay to do the uh, test and score based on logistic regression
based on logistic regression. So what we done is we just done the image embedding. We connected the image embedding into test uh, and score, and then we uh, used the logistic logistic regression to do the classification. Okay, and then we connected the logistic regression into test and score. Of course, here we will connect also to confusion matrix. This is the confusion matrix. Okay, and from confusion matrix we will connect to uh, image viewer. So this is the image viewer. So it will take some time, uh, maybe two minutes or less or, or more till it finish the processing. Okay. Now it's done, as you can see, test uh, and score is done. If you double click, you will have the logistic regression, the area under curve 99%. Uh, classification accuracy is 95% and all other uh, uh, measures which is F1 precision and uh, the recall so if we click the confusion matrix uh, we will have this amazing figure so in the cats from 1000 it uh, predicted it predicted 946 uh, cats as cats which is right but it predicted 8 as banda and 46 as dogs so these are the errors. So if you click in the pandas to see why the logistic regression predicted the cats as pandas, we can click on the, let's keep this open and click here. These are the images, uh, uh, the misclassified images, as you can see from here. So these are the misclassified images, the eight images. So they are like pandas. If you, if, you, if you analyze deeply the images, they are like pandas. You can now start understanding why it predicted uh, and uh, these as uh, misclassified items. Also, let's see the 46. These are the 46. It predicted this as as dogs. So it really, and you, you and it's confusing actually, because, confusing because this image most likely maybe it's a dog, not a cat. So from here, you can start understanding why it misclassified all these images. Also, the dogs, uh, uh, the 45 dogs misclassified as cats. See, it classified them as cats, 13 as pandas, dogs as pandas, and, and so on and so forth. So this is now the, um, the uh, training. We done the training, we done the confusion, and we done the uh, view images. Now, what we need to do is to do prediction. So we I can gonna connect this to into prediction, prediction, okay, and I gonna do two things. I gonna import images, import, import images, and we have three images to uh, to um, uh, predict under image images select folder, and let me show you these images anyway. These are the images. So we gonna predict what will the uh, the prediction from these three images we have cat dog and panda let's see how we're gonna do it so these are the three images i'm gonna connect this to image embedding of course image embedding okay and from image embedding i'm gonna connect to, into prediction okay and if you double click the prediction you will see what's happening so the cat image it predicted this as panda so this is this, this is wrong uh, uh, misclassified item Dog predicted as dog, logistic regression predicted uh, dog as dog. Uh, logistic regression also predicted panda as panda. So two from three uh, correct classification and one, one bad classification. Let's actually use another, um, this is done. We done the uh, training, we done the test and score, we done confusion matrix, we done prediction. Uh, but let's also use another um, uh, algorithm. Let's, uh, for example, use um, the simple one is the tree. So I'm gonna connect this to tree, tree, okay? And I'm gonna connect this to, it will take some time till it pick up the numbers. And I'm gonna connect this to test and score and it will start recalculating all these numbers all together. And also I will connect this to into prediction. So we need to do testing and prediction and uh, see uh, the uh, and compare the values. So this is 30, this is 59% completed, which is good. It will take a minute or less to, to do the whole thing. <clears throat> 
Of course, you can uh, try the key and, and you can try uh, via, uh, via, uh, uh, any, other, any other algorithm uh, in classification. We have around 10. You can use them all to do the prediction. This is done. So uh, from testing, you see the training in classification in, uh, accuracy is 91%, while the logistic uh, 95%. Let's see the prediction. The prediction, the tree actually, um, the, the tree, it predicted the cat right and the dog right and the panda right. So although it has less uh, classification accuracy, but for these specific images, the tree performed well because it predicted the right information. And from here, you can see the percentages. See, you can see the cats, 100%. And the dogs here we have 95% and the panda is 99% for the pandas. So you can now start comparing logistic regression vice the tree, vice all other items. So this is exactly what's happening to do um, image uh, training and prediction. Straightforward, very simple. We used this in classification anyway, but we added the image embedding. Image embedding before we train the data because we need to understand the images. We cannot just understand the images as is as these images, for example. We need to convert them by having the image embedding into numbers, into vectors, okay, numbers, and then we can do uh, the logistic regression tree and all other algorithms. This is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Very straightforward, very important example and very important lesson because it is um, the base of how to deal with images, how to do the training and prediction. We'll see you in our next lesson uh, and uh, goodbye.